another day, another dollar. Thank the Lord for another 24. God, I knew that was you. Y'all know I'm coming with them motivational videos, them mindset, them life hack videos, man, to change your way of thinking, to change your outlook on life, man. You know, we trying to be successful. We trying to keep growing as a person. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna eat my sub here. I just got me a, a foot long sub from Subway. Six cookies, man. But I was like, I gotta make this video for my people, man. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep hustling, man. My people keep telling me that whatever you do, don't stop making these videos. Y'all know I ain't gonna stop, man. I'm locked in this shit for life. As long as I got air in my body, I'm gonna keep hustling. I'm gonna keep grinding, man. We'll be talking about some di some different mindsets that'll change your whole outlook on life, that change your life, man. Right here, the first one right here, man, is you know. Instead of saying, fuck the system, you know, crying and complaining about how life ain't fair, man. Instead of saying, fuck the system, you got to find a way to try to play the system, man. You got to find them glitches, man, in the matrix, man, so you can break out the box. See, a lot of some people, man, they complain about how life is hard, how life ain't fair. They want, they crying to God. Why me, God? Why was I born with the hand I was there? Why couldn't I be born rich? Why couldn't I be this? Shut the fuck up, man. You got to figure this shit out. You got to figure out a play, man. You got to make a way out of no way. You see, I was I was born poor, you know? Look where I'm at now, though. You know, I'm doing better than some people, man, that grew up in two-parent households in nice neighborhoods. I grew up single parent, single mom. She worked two, three different jobs. We lived in the ghetto, the projects. Now look at me, man. I'm a 13-year successful career, college graduate. You know, I bought, I got a house. I bought a house. I've been living in 10 years Got two paid off cars, got money saved for retirement, investment, savings, different accounts, they're all money all over. I get to take trips out the country a few times a year, you know, shit like that. So you know the odds said I ain't even supposed to be here. You know, I'm 34. You know, the statistics say people like me that grew up where I grew up at, I'm supposed to be dead, lost to the streets, you know, gang violence, or locked up in prison. I beat all them odds, man. I go to prison every day to work. You know what I'm saying? Making over six figures every year. I done figured out a glitch in the system. I ain't going to sit here and be crying and complaining. You won't never hear me crying and complaining about shit. You know what I'm saying? I know this life shit, nothing is handed to you, man. The rewards and the wins in life, they go to the people that's hustling. The people that get up, they try to make a play, figure some shit out. You know, me, I knew my outlet, my ticket out the hood, out the ghetto was football. So I stayed focused on football in school. I didn't run the streets. I didn't run, go with the different crowds that was in the partying, trying to sell drugs, robbing, committing, all these, doing all this stupid shit. I stayed focused. Graduated high school with a 3.7 GPA, got a full ride, football scholarship, went to college, graduated college in three years with my bachelor's degree in criminal justice, 3.2 GPA. Started working for the correctional system, working in the prisons. I've been doing that 13 years. I, like I said, I've been making over six figures the past 10 years. I probably have made them $1.52 million, you know, and I done saved a lot of that money. I'm smart with the money. I just don't, you know, a lot of people, when they start making a lot of money, you go from having no money to now you're making good money. They start doing dumb shit with the money. The money, look, look, look. Where my wallet at? The money, this shit right here, it don't come with instructions. Ain't no instructions on what to do with the money. You got to know what to do with the money. I'm working all this overtime. I got probably a thousand, two thousand dollars left over on my check every month. I'm saving that. I'm investing. I'm buying stocks. I'm paying off debt if I got any debt. I ain't got no debt. I paid a lot of my debt off years ago, you know, so I be having free money to play with. So I try to save and invest as much of it as I can. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, like I said, I found that little glitch. Working in corrections is like one of the best kept secrets. A lot of people look at it from a negative aspect. They're like, oh, it's a stressful environment. Oh, it's dangerous. Shit, the, the streets is dangerous. You can be out here, get hit by a car. You can get, be minding your business and uh, somebody that's high off of meth come running up to you, try to stab you. It's mass shootings. You got, man, you got all kinds of shit you got to worry about. In the free. I feel like prison is safer than being on the street sometimes. It's a more controlled environment. And for what we get paid to do, man, it's like taking candy from a fucking baby. A lot of times when I'm in there, I just be sitting in the office on my ass 
just watching the inmate, not doing shit. All you got to do, you do a round, do search a couple cells, and you go sit back down. 99% of the time, it's the same routine shit every day. Most days are chill in the prison. You got that 1%, you know where some shit may happen. A fight break out, uh, inmate try to start stabbing each other. You got an inmate high off of drugs. Shit like, it, it ain't no different than them. Like, you've been a, a teacher at a high school. You know, you're going to have fights. You may have, like, some crazy shit go down, like a bomb threat. You know, if y'all been in school or college, you know uh, uh, shit like that. It's easy, bro. That's like my way out. You know what I'm saying? This is the next thing, man, I'm going to leave y'all with. Seeking self-improvement instead of seeking revenge, man. As you get older in life, man, you got to learn how to be the bigger person and just walk away. You know, especially when you got shit to lose, you start having success. You know, I'm the type now, it's like, I got to watch how I move. I can't just be hanging with anybody. I can't just be on every scene. Every scene ain't for me. So I try to stay out the way a lot of these days. A lot of times, man, I go to work and, you know, I work my overtime. Then right as soon as I get done with work, I go right to the gym and work out. And then most days I just come right back home and I'm working on these YouTube videos. I eat my food. You know, if I got time, I cut my shows on, watch my shows. You know, the, my days off on the weekends. I go to my same few little restaurants. When it's time to go on vacation, you know, I go out the country. I just stay on the resort mostly, man. Just be chilling, you know, mingling with other people that's on vacation. I just keep it simple, man. You know, I ain't got shit to prove. I ain't trying to please nobody, impress nobody. I just try to be me, be myself. The right people will love you. They're going to come into your life. They're going to find you as long as you're just trying to be yourself. And like I say, you got to watch how you move, man. Once you start having success, you start getting money. You know, you start to become a successful person, an influential person. You ain't supposed to be hanging out with people that's still out here stuck on stupid, doing dumb shit. You got your buddies from high school and college. They out here smoking, dr fucking drinking all day, smoking, going to the club every weekend. Shit like that. They starting to get into the wrong type of shit. You got to distance yourself from all that. Elevation in life, in order to elevate, you know, it requires separation. You got to separate yourself. You know, once you start to elevate, different doors are going to start opening. You're going to start to meet different people, man. That's in higher positions. That's even more successful. That's how you keep elevating, man. You can't hang down here. You got to keep moving up. It's just like an eagle. You would never see an eagle hanging out with the pigeons. It just don't make no fucking sense. You know what I'm saying? So I can't just be out and about, man, clubbing every weekend on that type of time, you know, I got shit to lose, you know, I can't, you know, there's the potential for danger, motherfuckers get to fighting, shooting in the club, all kind of crazy shit, man, I don't, I watch the people I hang around, if I know they up to no good, they out here committing crimes, they not doing the right shit, or they ain't on the same type of time I'm on, see me, all I'm on, I'm trying to be the best person, best possible person I can be, all I focus on is this YouTube channel, trying to be a successful YouTuber, man, hoping my channel will take, keep taking off and growing with time, you know, and, you know, just keep working my career, pay these bills, take my vacation, stay out the way, enjoy my family and just have a peace of mind. I don't need no outside static, no negativity, no drama, no, uh, no haters, people that's into the wrong lifestyle. I don't need none of they, they problems or none of that shit interfering with what I got going on. I try to stay focused on what it is I'm trying to do and stay in my lane. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, when you got, when you got, uh, People that's trying to, you know, pick fights with you, workplace drama, petty people that want to argue with you. Like I just said, you got to learn how to walk away. You know, you got people that hate on you. You're going to have critics, especially if you try to do something like I'm doing, putting yourself out there to the public. You know, maybe you got a YouTube channel or you're trying to promote a business. You always going to have critics and haters. You know, somebody always going to have an opinion about you, whether you're doing good or bad. I've learned over the years to just be a bigger person, you know, and I just walk away. Like, for instance, on my YouTube channel, my social media pages, when, when the haters leave negative comments, I don't even say nothing back to them. I just like the comment so they know that I read it and I keep it moving. I got bigger fish to catch. I ain't got time for no small-minded people. That's that's lame shit, man. They ain't got no audience or, you know, no shit like that. They ain't, a lot of them don't even got no profile picture. They just online hating. You got time to hate on somebody. You got too much time on your hands. You got to be more productive. You got to get up, go do some push-ups, go read a book, go volunteer at the homeless shelter, shit like that, man. I don't got time to hate on nobody else. 
You know, if I get into some smoke or get to have a little a verbal altercation or disagreement, shit, I'm the type, shit, I just walk away. Y'all got the win, man. I'm focused on my mission in life. I don't have time for no side battles, no confrontation, no confrontation, no 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 small battle. I'm trying to win the wars. Let them have them small battles, man. Small-minded people, they can have them battles. We trying to win the war. We trying to get ahead in life. You can't get ahead in life if you got you always entertaining drama, side shit, man. Unnecessary beef, negative people, people hating shit like that. Don't even entertain it. Just keep doing what you doing stay focused on what it is you trying to do in your life man you know what i'm saying this is the next thing man oh this one good oh oh sometimes you gotta suffer in silence you have to suffer in silence sometimes this is the thing about the world the world don't give a fuck about your problems they don't give a goddamn what it is you going through man everybody going through some shit Everybody got struggles, man. The successful people in life, they figure out a way to win with the hand they were dealt. You may not be have been dealt the perfect hand. You may not have been born with a silver spoon. Rich parents, you got a rich uncle, man. You a trust fund baby. A lot of us, man, we starting from scratch. You know, like I said, I started from scratch. I I, I grew up in the, the poor ghetto. We was poor. We ain't had no money, man. Shit. The, a vacation for us was just going to the family reunion or some shit like that, man. You know, I wasn't a, we weren't going out in the country, going to the best schools, driving the best cars, living in a nice house. It was rough. It was a lot of poverty, a lot of crime. We was on Charity Newsy, Section 8, WIC, food stamps, all of that. You know what I'm saying? But you would, like I said, you would never hear me crying or complaining about none of that shit, man. I got to figure it out. You either going to figure this shit out or you just going to be play the victim role, man. You got to goddamn stop using your circumstances in life as a crutch, man, and boss up. Figure some shit out, man. Figure out what you good at. Figure out your skills. Go learn some new skills. Meet some new people. Start networking with people, man. It's, it's so much ways to make money to meet new people that, that could potentially open a new door for you. You just got to get out there and you got to be on the hustle figuring shit out. You got to figure shit out for yourself, man. The world is not going to goddamn motherfucking give you any favor. They don't give a damn about you, man. That's one thing I learned early in life, man. You either a winner, you either a champion, or you a chump, man. The choice is your life is all about choices, man. You can choose to cry and complain about this shit and stay stuck in your same situation, or you could choose to get up and take action. Figure out what you're gonna do. Make a play, make something happen. Something out of nothing, man. It's always a way. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta figure that shit out. This is the next thing, man. Don't stop working until you are where you wanna be at in life, man. If you adopt that mindset that even if they bigger, they faster, they stronger than you, they got more money than you, they was born with a head start in life over you, they got rich parents, shit, you got poor parents, none of that matters. As, as long as you fucking hustle and you don't stop working, you a motherfucking win. You gonna probably pass up some of them people, man, because they gonna get lackadaisical, they soft, they pacify. We see it all the time. Kids that's rich, they got rich parents, they out here making dumb decisions. They out here fucking getting DUI after DUI, high off of cocaine, pills, and ecstasy, man, crashing out. Motherfucking not doing what they supposed to do. And you see somebody, man, that may, shit, they may be born into poverty, man, dead broke. Say they ain't even supposed to win, man. They supposed to stay stuck in poverty, but they figure out a way. They figure out a way. They use their mind and they just keep working. They don't worry about what nobody else got going on. They just keep working on their craft, keep hustling. Next thing you know, they're a success story. Now people want to know how they did it, man. Just don't stop working. That's what, that's been my mentality damn near all of my life, you know. And it's like the older I get, the harder I work. And it's like the harder I work, the more success I see. You know what I'm saying? And what happens with that success for me, I don't get the big head. I don't let shit go to my head. That keeps me humble and it keeps me hustling. It makes me want to keep working even harder, grind even harder, hustle up even more so I can have more success. That's how you keep winning in life. That's how once you get to the top, you stay on top, man. You see people all the time. You can look at 
athletes, man. They had it all in their hands, but they didn't want to work hard. They had everything handed to them. All they had to do was keep showing up, keep doing what they was doing, man. But they let it go to their head. They get lackadaisical. They start making bad decisions, hanging with the wrong people. They lose it all. Now they broke. They done got, damn, got sentenced to prison for something dumb. Look at people like Aaron Hernandez. I, for the love of my life, man, I can't understand how you crash out that hard. You go from a fucking, you playing with Tom Brady, winning Super Bowls, you worth 60 million till you want to go and act like you a gang member, killing people like it's nothing, man, committing uh, hits on people, killing people, and you send us to prison, then he ended up committing suicide. I can't understand that for, you know, to save my life, man, but it is what it is. That's just a part of life. You no, know, you're going to have winners. You're going to have losers. You're going to have people that was giving everything and they blow it. You're going to have people, man, that was giving nothing. They weren't giving nothing but the crumbs. But they take them crumbs and they take them crumbs and take that, turn that shit into lows. We going from crumbs to lows, from dirt to marble because you're going to hustle. Keep working every day. I work on this shit every day. I always want to improve myself on a daily basis. I work even my days off. I work even harder. I go to the gym. Sometimes I work out twice on my days off. I'm walking on the weekends. Sometimes I sit in here, man, on a good night. I might record like five or six YouTube videos. I just stay up to two and three in the morning, man. You know how I used to run the streets in my 20s, you know, chasing ass, going to the club, shit like that. I'm in my 30s. I'm trying to get this YouTube channel to blow up, man. I, I want that's my dream. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to make it. So I stay up on the weekend these days to two, three, sometimes four in the morning just working on YouTube videos. And I may sleep for a few hours, get back up about seven, eight, nine o'clock, and go to the gym and repeat the process. Man, I won't stop. I'm locked in like Jamaican here, man. I won't stop until I complete the mission to I'm successful, man. That's how you gotta be. You just gotta out hustle everybody. Don't worry about what nobody else is doing. Just grind for this shit. Grind, 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 fucking grind. Motherfucker, you get tired, you take a break, you take a nap, get you a, a pit stop, a little rest break, and then get right back up, man. That's how the most successful people, that's how they stay on top. You look at some of these billionaires and shit, man. You know, they like, you think like they got fucking billions of dollars. Why are they still working so hard? Because they want to stay on top. They want to stay successful. That's that mindset. That's that mindset you got to have right there, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the last thing I'm going to leave y'all with, man. Better to be alone than in bad company. You know, me, I always been a, a popular loner, solo, dolo artist, you know, I'm the type, man, you know, I don't need to be around people. You know, I like, I prefer, I can stay my ass right here in the crib for days on end. Just watch my shows. I go cook some food or go out, get me some Chinese food or pizza or go out to eat and then come right back home. I don't, I, these days I'm big on my, my inner peace, my peace of mind. So I stay out the way. I'm low key. You know, I don't hang with a lot of people as much as I do. I get up with my homies every now and then. But I don't really go out as much, like clubbing, going to a lot of kickbacks, uh, work functions, shit like that. I'm locked in on my mission, you know. I'd rather be by myself, you know. And like I say, man, you know, you got people, if they, if they got bad vibes or it's just like you outgrow people, man, it's just better to be alone, man, you know, and shit like that. Because you, you will meet new people along the way, man, that's more beneficial towards you, man. If they ain't for you, you know, you see they, they energy switch up. They start hating on you on the low because you're trying to better yourself. Fuck them, man. Friends, family, I don't care who it is, man. If you ain't for me, you don't believe in me, support me, then fuck you. I'll go make new friends and family. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, at the Ghetto Body Builder. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, at the Ghetto Body Builder. I got the merchandise for sale. It's one of my shirts. This is the original shirt. This is my first shirt I ever came up with. Swole Virus 19 Positive Quarantine Me at the gym. I came up with this around when COVID hit, man. Just a little gym motivational shit, man. But yeah, y'all got any comments, any questions, any ideas or topics for future videos y'all want me to do, drop that comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as I can. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated.